to rehabilitate our people, and people of goodwill are appointed as trustees of these funds to manage the funds, we expect that they will do the right thing by ensuring that the funds are properly utilized. And like I said, since it's a development commission, development is a continuous process. We expect that from now on, if established, that the commission should be able to take care of the peculiar problems, the unique problems that uh, the people of the North Central encounter. And in collaboration with the communities and individuals within the North Central Zone, we expect to make it a sustainable and an enduring commission. And funding is still another problem. We know how our economy is kind of epileptic for now. Are you, are you seeing maybe the commission, is it possible for the commission to generate its own revenue? Of course. Apart from very, very possible. Like I said, there are many, many grants, many aid uh, funds that mm -hmm. are available internationally and locally. And of course, I, I think the awareness uh, is right now that uh, individuals that are rich enough, that have uh, monies, especially monies that they don't need, uh, should be willing at this moment, given the predicament uh, of uh, our various communities, to contribute to this fund. I, I think that the major problem that the Nigerian people have had along the line is the fact that uh, funds are not properly utilized, funds are not properly managed, and so people, individuals, are not prepared to contribute. But seeing the genuineness of uh, our concern mm -hmm. and our agitation, and the paradigm shift that is uh, ongoing generally now across the nation, I, I think that these funds will be properly managed and people will have confidence in their management. All right, finally, sir, I want to ask, you have the opportunity to be the deputy chairman of the Senate Committee on Army, and we know that uh, your, your, your state is being affected by insecurity. Mm -hmm. I mean, what measures are you bringing in place to benefit your people to ensure this insecurity is reduced to the barest minimum? Well, uh, unfortunately, the army is not at the disposal of the committee mm -hmm. to deploy. Uh, uh, but what, what, what is going on well for me and members of my community is the fact that um, the uh, Senate uh, set up uh, an ad hoc committee on the security challenges, especially in the Northeast. And uh, we are now trying to explore the entire gamut of the security challenges across the country. And of course, the uh, situation in uh, Benue South and Benue State uh, also has a place, uh, has a voice in myself in that committee. And so we are meeting finally, maybe later today, Monday, uh, the 16th, to fine tune our recommendations. And I can assure you that the recommendations that we are making from that committee, after interactions with the various stakeholders in the security architecture, uh, will go a long way in uh, solving the problems of insecurity. And lastly, and you have just uh, two or three years to go. What do you want the Minister of Constituents to remember you for as your senator? Well, I, I, I told my people from uh, home uh, when I was campaigning that uh, I'm going to have be their voice. Uh, I was going to act for them. I was going to speak for them. And uh, I was going to think for them. And so far, so good. I think. Uh, we, we, we have a place uh, in, in the entire Nigerian project right now because um, when issues arise, whether it is in Oju or be local government in my constituency or in Agatu, uh, my constituency, I have always lent a voice to it and Nigerians have become aware of what has been happening in the place. So I essentially would want to be remembered if I'm no longer here uh, by my people of being one man who has been their voice who has acted appropriately for them to get things right for them in the Nigerian project. Thank you.